This video is sponsored by OWC. Just install iOS 15. Here are 10 tips to help get you started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up notification summary. If you're tired of getting endless notification alerts all day long, notification summary is a feature you're gonna to wanna to use. You can set your notifications to be delivered just a few times a day in bulk, which is ideal for cutting down on notification spam. To set this up, go to the settings app, notifications, and then notification summary, and follow the steps on your screen to set up the summary to your liking iOS 15 introduces a long awaited feature that can let you know if you've left the device behind. If you're in a cafe with your MacBook and your iPhone, for example, and you walk out without the MacBook, your iPhone can ping you to let you know your device isn't with you. To set this up, you just go to the Find My application, tap on the device that you want to be notified about if you leave it behind, and then tap on Notify When Left Behind option. From there, just go ahead and toggle it on and you'll get that notification whenever you might leave it behind. You can also set up exceptions so you won't get an alert if you leave your belongings at home or at work, but be aware that this setting works with most devices, but some older devices are not supported. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure iCloud Private Relay is turned on. iCloud Private Relay makes sure Safari traffic and other unencrypted traffic leaving an iPhone, iPad, or Mac is encrypted and uses two separate internet relays so that companies cannot use personal information like your IP address, your location, and browsing activity to create a detailed profile about you. To make sure that it is turned on, open up the settings app, Tap on your profile picture and select iCloud. From there, tap on Private Relay and go ahead and toggle it on. Focus mode is a prominent feature in this update and it can be incredibly useful, so you'll probably wanna go ahead and set this up right away. Focus mode is basically a more customizable version of Do Not Disturb. You can create focuses for activities like working, reading, exercising, or spending time with family, blocking out the apps and content that you don't want to see during those periods. Focus can be accessed by opening up the settings app and tapping on the focus option. From there, walk through the setup steps to get started. If you've ever been on the receiving end of a phone call from your parents or significant other saying that they forgot their iCloud passwords, this next feature can be a huge lifesaver for you. In iOS 15, you can now set a recovery contact, i.e. a trusted person that can help you reset your Apple ID password and recover your account if that need arises. And this also works for a lost device passcode too. So to set up account recovery, open up the settings app and tap on your profile at the top. From there, tap on password and security and then tap on account recovery. Then you're gonna wanna add recovery contact and then again at the screen that explains the feature. Authenticate with Face ID and then select a person to serve as your contact. Marketing emails, newsletters, and some email clients use an invisible tracking pixel in email messages to check and see whether you've actually opened up an email. In iOS 15, you don't need to worry about that anymore as it stops all of that with mail privacy protection. Mail privacy protection can be enabled by opening up the settings app, tapping on mail, and then under privacy protection, toggle on protect mail activity. If you enjoy using the health app for a one-stop checklist for everything that you might want to see regarding your health, Apple has actually built upon that even more by adding a health checklist feature in order to better manage everything about your health. So to do this and to get to the health checklist, open up the health app and tap on your profile picture in the upper right corner. And from there, tap on health checklist. In this view, you can see what's enabled and what's not, and you can add any access to any of the settings by tapping on the entry in the list. You can then manage heart rate notifications, medical ID information, information, headphone notifications, and much more. Safari has gone through some changes in iOS 15, the most notable being able to adjust your Safari layout by adjusting new transparency options or even adjusting the location of the tab bar. You can now choose to use this new look or turn it off for a more iOS 14-esque style Safari experience. To change the look of the Safari app, open up the settings app, tap on Safari, and scroll down to the tabs interface. Choosing tab bar will give you the bottom interface, that's the new design that we were talking about here with iOS 15, while choosing single tab will leave you with the standard iOS 14 Safari look. You can also turn website tinting on or off, with this feature allowing the tab bar to kind of blend in with the background color of a website. 
With iOS 15, if you have a paid iCloud Plus storage plan, you can now personalize your iCloud email addresses with a custom domain name that you own. Apple is still testing this feature out, but in order to use it, just go to the beta.icloud.com website. And then from there, select account settings and then select manage under custom email domain to set it all up. And lastly, you can now add two-factor authentication codes to passwords without having to use a third-party app like Authy or Google Authenticator in iOS 15 because Apple has added a verification code option to the password app. So you can create and access two-factor authentication codes right on the iPhone without the need for another service. In the passwords section of the settings app, you can tap into any password and then select set up verification code to get two-factor authentication working. The iPhone can use a setup key or scan a QR code, which is how most authentication apps work. And that's it. These are just some of the features that you might wanna set up once you get iOS 15 installed on your device. And be sure to check out the rest of the channel for more information on what's new with the latest updates from Apple. Before we end today's video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC just released a new ultra-fast Thunderbolt bus-powered portable SSD, the Envoy Pro SX. The OWC Envoy Pro SX is versatile enough to be used as a bus-powered drive for daily storage and backup tasks. It can also handle workflows easily, handle the speed demands of production-level audio design, photography, and video workflows, and it serves up real-world performance speeds at over 2,800 megabytes per second with modern Thunderbolt and USB for equipped Macs and PCs. The drive is extremely portable in a very small compact shell that's also rugged enough to be certified against dust, water, and drops. It features a removable Thunderbolt cable and is test certified to handle the nastiest environments. From managing obstacles in the field to crushing deadlines at home, the OWC Envoy Pro SX lets you unleash your productivity power no matter the task. And for more information about the OWC Envoy Pro SX, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.